What's going on, Warriors? It is Darth coming at you with another Queen's Blade Limit Break video. This one's going to be kind of brief. It's just to give you an update or just uh, kind of go over the minor tweak and update they made to the first anniversary event. They have tweaked it so that you have a chance, a small chance, but you have a chance to obtain a copy, one copy, of the Ultimate Warrior Ari. We're going to go over how, what change they made, how that's possible. We're going to go over whether or not you should or who should uh, make an attempt for this particular item. And then I'm going to kind of ask you what you think about it and how you go up, how, if you're going to actually go about doing it. So it's actually been live for a couple of days now, depending upon how you look at their timer. But they sent out an email that even people in my guild kind of didn't understand some people in our guild didn't understand because they kind of read these emails they're like oh, okay great i'm not going to be able to do it basically thank you to all the players for the support so summoning and other arrivals will count towards ari's bonus rewards that's the key word there bonus rewards as a first anniversary special surprise so this is actually kind of good um on g123's parts however it's also an attempt to get people to buy more books or spend more books or you know things like that to some degree so let's take a look at it what does that mean other arrivals and bonus events so on their home screen you're going to notice that uh, there is an ultimate summoning where Ari is making a, an appearance it's not under the traditional ultimate summoning that works because the feature warrior is Kaiguya however you say it. So they did a special limited ultimate summoning of Ari and they kind of rotate her and Vesper out. I don't know about Alina. But what it's talking about is this bonus summoning right here. They're not saying you can use your arrival books temporarily, kind of like the change they made for the spicy books where you can obtain her spicy. You still have to use preeminent pearls to summon for her. But you can still obtain her shards by your normal arrival summonings. What is normal arrival summonings? Going into your summonings here and it's the featured warriors for the week. Now what people don't understand is it's not just the arrivals here, it's the spicy poses. Anytime you summon here, it's gonna count towards the bonus summoning, which would normally just be every time you use a pearl, you get a, you get a reward based on hitting a certain number of summons. Well, they've included or updated it to where all your arrival summons count towards this bonus. It's going to give you the chance to summon so many times combined throughout the event to obtain a copy. Keep in mind, it takes 100 shards to fuse a copy of her, and you will need all 400, meaning that you're going to have to summon a combination of 400 at some point in order to obtain her. As you can see, I've already summoned about a, a little over a hundred times, so I do have shards for the Moonlit Attendant, or Ari. But I still have some work to go. Now, there's a couple of questions that come with this. Is it worth it? Why would I do it? How can I go about doing it in a way that doesn't blow my books? Well, that's an interesting question, okay? The purpose of this is actually a good surprise. It's first to try to get you to buy books if you don't have books. But I have plenty of books, both in the arrival. I've actually had like 1,100, as you can see. I've already summoned for a copy of Witch of Allure. And it actually encompasses any time you summon here. This includes your free version of the summons, and it includes your diamonds. Now, I have plenty of diamonds, guys. I have, I'm coming in on 1.3 million. I have plenty of diamonds that I can throw at obtaining a copy of her. The question becomes is like, what good is one copy? Well, it, come on. Most of us aren't going to be able to get a copy of her to begin with, and it's good to have them. If you go to the gallery, they've actually linked warriors. Getting a five-star warrior is going to give you 500 diamonds, okay? Just for starting the progress here. It's going to increase her power with 1,000 attack and 5,000 HP. You're not going to necessarily take a five-star warrior into battle or put her in your lineup over some of the other items that you have. But you got to start somewhere with these ultimate warriors, and you got to take advantage of these events and these kind of things when they get. Having one, one is better than having none, 
even though you may not use her, it unlocks the avatar frame. You also unlock another additional 100 gems in the index for obtaining the ultimate warrior. Once you obtain her, you come in here and you click on the intro and you get 100 diamonds. You need two of her to take her up to at least nine star, but starting off with one copy is still a starting point just like any other warrior. Now the question becomes is, should I go in and blow a combination of gems and books to reach 400? Well, that's an interesting question. I'm gonna break that down into two different scenarios. If you're a new player or a player still working on building up a roster containing a, co a combination of original warriors like P. Claudette and B. Melania, and you still don't have the fish and you still don't have you know, the fish or M. Uh, Philea, you need to be saving up towards these meta warriors. Okay, These are the ones that you should be blowing your books on. So you may not feel the need to go do it. But what about everybody else? People like me who have books, people who are summoning. Well, here's my advice. In the cost of, I wouldn't go blowing 400 books in combination regardless. Most people will hit 400 books just on their spicy because it takes 200 to get a free copy of the warrior anyways. If you are summoning, like me, to bring up, like I'm bringing Witch of Allure up to 11 star and I'm going to be bringing Piper up to 11 star, I'm already on my way to summoning. And I may go ahead and pull a few extra spices. But that's not all. It runs for eight days. You have Shamala, Shamuel, Shamwawel, coming up, and she's a solid warrior to add to your roster. Some are going to be pulling for her as well. Keep in mind, your gem summons do count towards these bonuses. So anytime you summon in the warrior, come over here and see where you are and collect your shards. It's better to start collecting and maybe they'll do something like this in the future. So let me know what you guys think of this change. I think it's a nice change. They're at least giving you a chance at getting a copy of an ultimate warrior, though you may not use her, but it's a start. If you get another copy of her, you can take her all the way up to nine stars, guys. You only need two. And yeah, I mean, yeah, it is a ploy to get you to buy books if you don't have them, but some people are gonna be able to make that 400 easier. And I think that that's a nice thing to do that if they do this with events going forward, it may give people the chance. It's going to take you a while to obtain any notable item, but that's how that's their MO. That's how they work. So let me know if you guys are actually pulling for her. Let me know if you saw this. Some people didn't know, and they've been summoning the last few days, they didn't know that they can come in here and collect these bonus shards to collect them. Keep in mind, just again reiterating, you will need all 400 to fuse her. I think this totals up to like 105 or 110. A start's a start. Uh, know where you are in the game. Follow the advice if you're a new player. But if you're not a new player and you know what you're doing, are you pulling? Are you, are you going to get her over the course of the week? What do you think of this? Do you think that this should be a standard on major events like first anniversaries or like Christmas and things like that to where to encourage people to summon but also reward them a little bit further for doing so. That's it for this one, guys. I'll see you in the next one.